Yo, good morning guys. Your boy's looking a mess right now, man. I need to button this up, get my hair fixed. Look at that, dude. <sighs> Warming up the whip right now. About to head out to the thrift. Um, as you can see, I haven't been able to get a haircut. My hair's messed up, looking bummy, but still cozy. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I've been grinding, man. Like, I've been cutting hair. Um, putting in work at the at the shop and I might show you guys a little sneak peek uh, today but we'll see um, but I've been putting in hours man pretty much every day I've been putting in about 10 to 12 hours sometimes longer um, just getting the shop together and just to keep you guys updated we finally got like I got air conditioning on and it's cold as hell right now. Um, but yeah, just to keep you guys updated, the hard part is done. Like, the painting portion. Um, I'll tell you guys a little later, like, you better let me go, bro. I'll tell you guys later why it was tough. Um, it shouldn't have been as hard as it was, but it was and no choice, had to deal with it. Um, but yeah, I've been thrifting here and there. I've been filming, bringing the camera, but it's just, it's not enough footage for you guys. And I don't want to just put out a video just to put out a video, you know what I mean? And I took the hit too, because I realized or I noticed that I didn't make as much um, this past month as I did the um, previous months, um, simply because I wasn't able to upload any videos. Um, but yeah, it was like a sacrifice I had to make because it was either try and get the shop popping like as soon as possible or go thrift and make YouTube videos. And obviously the quicker I get the shop open, the quicker I get to the money. So, um, which I have to, it's not about the money, but I have to because I got to pay rent. Um, and I'm already paying rent, so. Um, ooh, I need to get gas later. But yeah, uh, yeah, we're gonna head to the thrift right now. Hopefully you can find some things. I might hit a couple of thrifts and then um, head to the shop. So yeah, let's go thrift. Your boy's tired, but we gotta keep pushing, baby. Let's go. Dude, look at this big Louis Vuitton suitcase. Asking for 200 though. Look at these Lakers, like clappers, the ones that go like this. Four dollars. Look at these striped Vincent Ralph Lauren shorts. Like a crazy green horse right there. With the ropes? Is the draw shoes? Huge Eagles jacket, pro player. Look at these vans right here. They're actually samples. 35 though for this. Baby 13 in the purple and white. Just found some flying erasers. I think these are the multicolor 2.0s, I think. Oh, it's got some ripping right there. Dang it. Y'all can't really see it, but right there. Damn. Might have to leave them. They're asking for 15. I don't know if I could sell it with that. I got this vintage Bulls. Michael Jordan jersey. It's pretty bad condition though. It looks weird. Look at the Jordan logo. I don't know about that. 35 though, that's way too much. Another pair right here, size 7. No laces though. Okay, the pink chucks. Just found these made in USA, size large. Chicago Bulls sweats, for sure 90s. Size large, but women's, I think? It's in the women's section, but it's a large. He's low-key probably fit me. Oh my God. 30 bucks, but I gotta pick this up. For sure scooping this, yes. Just found this Prada side bag. It looks pretty good. Most likely is a bootleg, but they're asking for 30. That's why I'm having a hard time scooping. Yo, I found a super steal right now. 
Oh my god. Dang, dude. The bootleg polo. Super stiff. <laughs> Yo, this bootleg Nike hat is actually kind of tight. It's got the little Nike in the check right there. Strap back. Five dollars. I love key with rock this thing. What's up? Vintage Nike backpack. Not bad. Eight dollars. Bootleg anti-social social club hat. Are you ready? Military? For $2.99 I'm for sure scooping. Vintage Mighty Ducks. $19.94. For sure picking this one up. That graphic is so far. Just found another. Ooh, excuse me. Just found another Chucky doll. And that hair is extra flat. The slick back? Three dollars. I don't know if I'm gonna scoop this. The big one I have is our. Ah, obviously way more fire. So I'm probably gonna leave this one. Vintage polo ruffler. Single stitch pockets here. Five dollars. I got some bread thirteens right here. Oh, almost fell. Two thousand four. Twenty-five though. These don't go for that much. Yo, what's good guys? So I'm on my way to a Goodwill right now. Uh, I might stop by the post office, we'll see, man. My hair's looking crazy for real, though. Your boy needs a haircut. Uh, but yeah, heading to a Goodwill. It started raining again. Y'all know how much I hate rain. Um, but yeah, heading to a Goodwill. And then I'm gonna go to the Boo Boo's house. Knock out this trip to the thrift. I'm gonna show you guys a haul of what I picked up in this trip to thrift. Um, and then I'm gonna go to the shop. I decided I'm not gonna take you guys to the shop. I want it to be a surprise. I don't want to just, you know, take you guys step by step and you guys already know exactly what it's gonna look like and everything. So I want to keep y'all guessing. But yeah, I'm about to pull up to the Goodwill. I'm about to be there in a little bit. So I'll see y'all when we get inside. Vintage 49ers crew neck, and I just spotted this right here. I saw the basketballs. Charlotte Hornets tie. What brand is this? Made in USA, too. Look at this bright pink golden nugget jacket. Yo, Goodwill. Coming through 649. Y'all tell me. I think this is actually a legit size small. It's got the tag on the back too. And it has the same tag because I checked it on grilled and it looks the same as um, another one that sold for 350 actually. I'm actually gonna check these drawstrings to see if they match the Grailed post. See, this is on grilled right here. Tag on the inside, size tag. Tag on the back, same tag, except mine size small. The drawstrings, though. Undefeated T size large. It's got the little pocket, nothing else on it. Vintage dead stock, low breath leg, 1996. There's actually two more Cleveland Indians and another Dodgers one, just like this one. Alright, y'all, this isn't in any particular order, but this is what I got in the ship to thrift. I only got three items Fear of God, size small, hoodie. Still gotta figure out if this is legit or not, but y'all tell me in the comments if you think so or if you think it's not. Well, let me show you the back tag again, just in case. And then next is this one right here. I actually took off the tag already because I wanted to make sure the staple didn't ruin the fabric. But uh, the Chanel scarf, very crazy. Finally came across one of these, man. 
And then right here, this one has already actually sold. Um, Two ninety nine. I picked this up. Nineteen ninety four. Mighty Ducks T single stitch. And this is already sold. So follow your boy on IG if you don't want to miss out. All right, y'all. So that's gonna wrap up this trip to the thrift. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm sorry I haven't been on my channel or YouTube for a while. Um, not a while, but it's been like six days, six or seven days. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Your boy's back. I'm grinding. I'm trying to work as hard as I can to get these videos out to you guys to thrift, work on the shop, get everything situated legally and on my paperwork. I'm like, I'm grinding. I'm trying to get, um, I'm trying to get the store open as soon as possible for you guys. Um, I'm excited, so I'm working hard. But yeah, so that's gonna wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and you already know the slogan. So let's wrap it up to the coziest in the game. Amen to fashion. What is good?